Howdy, y'all. Uh, so, a little start on a little series here on the Beatitudes. You've heard me preach on it before. Not anything earth-shattering new that you've ever not heard from me, but I'm going to read for you a little bit, just the start of it. Talk about one, and then I have a little project to ask for your help on as well. So, the Beatitudes, Matthew, uh, in the sixth, the fifth, fifth chapter, Matthew, in the fifth chapter, um, it has Jesus up, and so it starts out with, when Jesus saw the crowds, he went up to the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak, and he taught them, saying, and then this first one today is, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. So there's lots of different ways you can look at this. You can find scholars in more ways than you're ever going to want to read, probably, to talk about what does this mean, poor in spirit. But one of my favorite interpretations of poor in spirit is not as in a poverty of spirit, but an abundance of humility in spirit. So I know none of you are like this, but I'm sure you have friends. Uh, growing up in my community in Michigan, we called them holy rollers. Um, I lived in a community like that in college where they were proud to be called the belt buckle of the Bible belt in Michigan. And it was holier than thou. The people who were so convinced that their faith and their relationship with God was better than everyone else's um, and my favorite interpretation in the Beatitudes is, blessed are the poor in spirit. Those who are uh, recognize their own deficiency. Those who are humble in their hearts and in their spirit, recognizing that there's always more to learn. That there's always a greater depth of understanding in life with the Spirit of God than we can understand. And so there's never a reason to boast about how strong your faith is. Uh, as with many people, the, the ones who typically need to boast are the ones who are the ones who are most insecure about their faith. And Jesus' promise to those folks is that the kingdom of heaven is theirs. So the kingdom of God, uh, that relationship with God, you don't need to brag about it because it's already secure. It's already something strong. So your assignment, if you will, uh, for this I've had a conversation with several folks. Uh, most of them are not on the email chain, but some of them do get to see it. But uh, our dear friend Caroline Rodewald will be celebrating her 100th birthday here August 1st. Um, some of you, I think most of you, will remember for Florence Hamilton's 100th birthday, we put together an obnoxious amount of birthday cards uh, to celebrate. I would like to do the same and I know a couple of you and I have talked, like to do the same for Caroline. Um, I think everyone knows her, unless you are very, very new to the church and you might still know her. You might have known Milt once upon a time as well. But Caroline has been an institution at St. Paul's and I would like to obnoxiously flood her mail and have her children and grandchildren and great-grands read a hundred different birthday cards. So if you don't have her address, you don't have a directory, email me. And I will get it to you. I don't want to post it out for everyone in the world to see, but I'm happy to get it for you. If you if you don't have a directory, just email me, holler, whatever. I'll get it to you. Email the office, we'll get it to you. You can mail something directly to her for her birthday. Or if you don't want to mail it because you don't like stamps or would just rather not do it. Uh, we're a family that rarely ever has stamps in our house. I, I'm always kind of like, oh, I better go find stamps again. Uh, you can drop it off at the church mailbox, the slot in the alley. And before her birthday, on the first, we will go and drop off cards. So I'll just tell you now, my family is doing three cards because there are three of us. There are 85 people who get this email. Who knows how many people actually read it and listen to it each day. So if 85 of those people plus the three of us do it, we only need about 10 more to do it. Um, I'd be really okay if we ended up with like 150, 200, 300 cards, whatever. So uh, we're going to celebrate being poor in spirit and recognizing that we have more room to grow with God. And we'll also give some thanks for one who helped us grow with God for many of us for a very long time uh, for Caroline or Mrs. Rodewald, depending on how you know her. Uh, so thank you. Uh, I look forward to talking to you more about the Beatitudes. They're one of my favorite passages in all of scripture. And we'll talk a little bit more about some different things that it might be. Have a great day.